Alright, so welcome you guys. So this is the Raya look that I came up with. And who says that during MCO you guys can't enjoy your Raya? Come on, don't be like that guys. So if you guys are close with your families, you guys are so blessed and lucky enough, why don't you just grab anything that you have in the wardrobe and put it on and put on your makeup and enjoy your Raya. And for those who are far away from your families, don't be sad. You guys can still have this look. Take a selfies and send them lovely photos to your friends, families, and probably your loved ones. Okay, so if you like this look, don't forget to stay tuned and enjoy the tutorial. Don't forget to stay safe, guys. Bye. Okay, hey guys. So the first thing I'm going to do is just fold my scarf because... I don't want to get any dirty makeup on it. Okay, next I'm going to spray my face with Bio Essence Energy Water to just give a little bit of hydration. Next, I'm going to be using the Rice Bran and Soybean by Naturals. This one is a toner. It helps to um, minimize the pores and balance the beige levels of your skin. Okay, now I'm going to be applying the Brightening Moisturizing Ampoule by Kritzen. This one has the Luxury 24 Gold, so it helps to um, minimize the fine lines and as well as the pores as well. Okay, next I'm going to be applying Essential Aromatics by Putriana. This one is an oil-based moisturizer, so it helps to melt your makeup onto your skin nice and smoothly. Next, I'm going to be using the Butriana HCC Serum. HCC stands for the Highly Concentrated Serum, so I'll be using it under my eyes and my smile lines just to reduce a little bit of fine lines. There you go! <laughs> Okay, and next is um, Rice Bran and Soybean Eliminating Daily Cream by Naturals as well. I love this so much because it does give your skin a lot of hydration at the same time as the glow. Okay, next I'm going to try this new technique. I'm going to be using the Loose Powder by Airspun just to set all of the moisturization that you've done previously. So that the makeup will last on longer and smoother you guys that haven't tried this new technique should definitely give it a try it's a life-changing technique so you guys seriously I'm not joking and then don't forget to set it all up like that okay next I'm going to prime my face with Laura Mercier foundation primer this one is great for those that have a dull skin or tired skin or even dry skin. It gives your skin a lot of radiance. I love this. My favorite. Okay, and the next step, I'm going to be using the MAC Prep and Prime in Peach Luster. This one, I use it as a corrector, so I will use it underneath my eyes and around my mouth just to brighten up the dark circles or dark area that you have. Okay, next up, I'm going to be using the Maybelline H Rewind Concealer in Sand. I picked sand because it is um, darker than my skin tone a little bit, so it helps to um, reduce the orange corrector underneath. Now moving on to my favorite, favorite foundation, which is the Wicon Natural Skin Foundation in NW20. This coat is actually a little bit lighter than my skin tone, but will make it work somehow. I love this so much because my skin is super dry. As you can see, that it helps to blend really well uh, onto my skin since it is a natural finishing. So it gives you a little bit of glow. See? Oh my god. Work it, girl. Work it. <laughs> yeah, so I just, just blend it. Oh, what am I talking about? Just blend it all over my skin like so. 
as you can see that it does not even stick onto my dry patch on the skin I mean my dry skin patches yeah whatever you call that so I'm just going to blend it again all over my skin like so now I'm done Ta-da! okay moving on to concealer I'm going to be using the Maybelline H Ruin concealer and this time it's in medium just to lighten up my under eye and as for the cream blush, I'll be using the MAC cream blush. Um, I actually forgot the code of this. Yeah, sorry guys. But you can definitely use any cream blush that you own. Anything, as long as it's pink like this. And then you want to set your under eyes with the translucent powder. This one I'm using the Fit Me Loose Powder by Maybelline. So I don't really set the whole skin, I just focus it under eyes and the smile lines. Okay, next moving on to the eyes, I'm going to be using the Rice Paper by MAC for the base. And as for the next shade, I'm going to be using this premium palette, premium plump palette. So the first color is that. Blend it as a transition color. So the next shade, it's still going to be under the same palette, which is this one, a like slightly darker deep orange. The next color I'm going to be using is from the Jeffree Star and Dragony palette. Is this one. It's called Fetish. It says a uh, dark uh, red maroon color somehow. I'm just going to focus this one slightly below the two colors that we just done previously. And you just want to go back and forth with the blending brush. Okay, the next color is this Dominatrix. It's still from the Jeffree Star and Dragony palette. It's a dark brown color just to give it a little bit of uh, drama onto the eyes. So I'll just switch back to the uh, previous brush that I used from the um, Fetish color. Now I'm going to be mixing these three shades for uh, my lower lashes. You really want to blend that out because you don't want any weird harsh lines on the eyes. So next, moving on to the liner, I'm going to be using this Silky Girl Perfect Stay Eyeliner in brown. So this one is so perfect for the tight line. Next is Waterline. I'm using the Sephora Coal Liner in 02, which is in beige, just to open up my eyes a little bit. For the liquid liner, I'm using my favorite Maybelline Hyper Sharp Liquid Liner just to give a little bit of dimensions, what you call it, I guess. Okay, moving on to the lashes, so I'm going to be using this Mink Lashes in code H90. This one is actually just, uh, it's not a human hair, it's just uh, Mink Lashes, but it works perfectly for this look. For the mascara, I'm using the Eye Opener Mascara by Silky Girl for the both top and bottom lashes. Next is the Tear Duct Highlighter, so I'm taking this shade right here, a little bit of shimmer, just to give it a little bit of glam. And don't forget to wipe off those little um, dust or powder underneath your eyes. Next, a little bit of a glitter. Yeah, we need some glitter, guys, so I'm going to take this one. It has a rose with gold undertone. Perfect, perfect. There you go. Dang, so fast, girl. So next is the bronzer. I'm using Bahamama by The Balm just to create a little bit of um, cheekbones right there. Still using the same Bahamama, uh, Bahamama contour 
powder bronzing powder on the nose as well you want to get that nose high as possible <laughs> moving on to the powder blush I'm using the pink soon by Mac I love this little pink blush you guys it gives that little dolly effect I think yes yeah, smile it smile for the highlighter I'm using this cover of X in this light pink shades yes just to give it a glow glowing as for the lipstick I'm using this Sifuana Wonderstruck lipstick in Aurora this lipstick is super creamy you guys so you don't need a lot just need a little bit and then just probably blend it with a brush or with your finger so I'm just gonna be doing that And there you go, I'm done. And voila, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it and enjoy the video. And I'm going to be coming with a new tutorial soon. Thank you guys, bye!